right, so this weller is in here solid and it doesn't move whatsoever. And uh, so now I just have to uh, find a way to trigger the weller. And I think in this case I'm going to use a foot switch. Alright guys, I have this foot switch here. This is what I'm going to use to trigger the welder. See the trigger just closes the circuit, which is these two cables. So I'm going to take those out and connect the foot switch to them. It is just a momentary foot switch. It does the exact same thing as my trigger. So I'm going to use this guitar jack to connect the two leads and those will go on the welder and connect the foot switch to this same connectors So I'm going to try to do some circles here, so I'm just sort of setting up the, um, the center with my pivot point. Let's see how that looks. Okay, not bad. I can adjust the height of the nozzle with this guy right here. <coughs> And that seems about right. Okay, here we go. Not bad, man. I kind of like that. So I'm going to try to do some straight lines from one end to the other. Pretty good. I may just have to slow down a bit. I'm just kind of going too fast. Uh, this time I'm going to try from the opposite end this way and uh, slow it down a bit. Let's get some more metal. Okay, I got this little square, so I'm gonna try that. I need to relax because I'm going too fast. Definitely a lot messier than the CNC, but it's kind of cool nonetheless. Try to do that freehand, you know. Okay, so I want to try something a bit more practical. I'm going to try to butt weld these two together.
not too shabby guys okay well I think I'm kind of losing my mind here I was trying to find a way to keep the speed constant in order to have a more even weld and uh, well I came up with this <laughs> see I have this actuator just pulling the stylus and pushing it and it's a lot more of a even speed so uh, let's let's try that out with the welding also this might be interesting with the router in case you have to do some repetitive stuff uh, even though it just goes in and out but you may be able to adjust this to have different directions on every pass check it out It's insane and you know now we're approaching a CNC machine which I have in this other room but uh, let's see how it welds like that. When you have a constant speed that weld comes out a lot nicer. Check this out. And it wasn't really a straight line, a sort of curve there at the end, because my actuator has a lot of play here. But it's still an in interesting concept. Um, you could have this on, put some rails here just to solidify the travel, make sure it doesn't play at all. Of course, C and C is always better. Less human error. But hey, sometimes your computer crashes. All right, guys, I've had enough. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time. Adios, amigos.